Hey, what's going on, CoinUp TV subscribers? Robert Wapner here, and in this video, I want to do an unboxing for the Lenovo Legion Go. This is a handheld PC gaming system. I got the one terabyte version. has a 8.8 display. The uh, handles, the controllers come off. has touchscreen, battery, multi-modes. AMD Ryzen is the CPU there. This is big. This is massive. It was um, 750 plus tax. Uh, ordered it from Best Buy. It just came in the mail today. Uh, the unit just was released October 31st um, was when it was released. So that's when people are starting to get these in their hands. And uh, I got mine a few days later. So here's the packaging. I have not ha been gaming on the PC for years and years. So this will be an adventure jumping back into PC gaming once again. Get the best from your devices. Okay. Coupon on the back there. Let's see what else we got. Is this the power supply? Everything is packaged nicely, and I will try and go through as quick as I can. It looks like USB-C there. There's the jack. The wire goes around to the side. Does it come off? It doesn't look like it snaps off. I'll leave that in there for now. I think we're done with this. Move that out of the way. Slide that forward. So, so this will give you an idea what the Lenovo Legion Go looks like with the controllers de detached, unattached. Um, there we go. Okay. Showing you some image images, preview of that. I have watched uh, some unboxing videos and some reviews for this already because this is uh, an expensive unit, not cheap so i definitely wanted to um be sure i was going to keep this and be happy with it before uh you know opening things up nice case comes with a case as you can see legion embossed on the front there it's the first time i've had a lenovo product in quite a while um, you can charge while the unit is in the case i think that's a nice touch a little flat there legion lenovo Logos on the side. <clears throat> it's like Christmas comes early here. Legion Space. This looks like a little uh, information tab there. I don't remember seeing that in other people's unboxing videos. Okay, so we got a little tab. It's in the plastic. Wow, this is uh, massive. Let me zoom out a little more here. There you are. This is big. This is heavy. When you see my reflection there in the screen. Uh, it's not too heavy, I will say that. First impressions, not too heavy. The thumbsticks feel like they're in a good spot. So we've got, uh, on the right side, we've got thumbsticks, trackpad, a, B, X, Y, we've got the uh, Legion space button, I believe, up there. And then on this side, another thumbstick, D-pad. And I believe these are for Windows controls. And we'll switch it around here. The top, we've got the volume up and down. USB-C. I believe that's an SD slot. I think that you can get up to two terabytes SD external. So this one comes at one terabyte and I think I can do a two terabyte so I can max out at uh, three terabytes. Although I saw people doing videos where they're opening the inside and even adding more. Here is the uh, fans and the speakers on top. This has been the biggest complaint so far is that the speakers are on top, so it's throwing the sound away from the user. Um, the, a lot of people are comparing the sound, uh, you know, we've got the Steam Deck and the Rogue Ally that are out, and the Rogue Ally has the sound, the speakers on the front shooting the sound forward. This has it on the top shooting up. That's a little bit of a complaint so far. Power button, earphone jack. 
Here's more buttons on top. A little, a little on the silver side, some shoulder pads here. This thing is not shy of buttons when, uh, when it comes to being able to click around and play games. And then on the back, we have some more buttons and we've got a little scroll wheel here. It's a, it's a little mini Windows PC, so if you wanna scroll things around, you can. Some more buttons there, everything is nice and clickety. We've got uh, some more fans, maybe that's for the intake of the air, and then the fan shoots out the top. Uh, this is a big plus here, we've got the kickstand, which you can see a little ridge right there, you can pull that open. And now I've got the kickstand out, which is uh, I can put in different positions. There we are. Spin that around to the side there in the back. That kickstand feels nice and sturdy. So that's great. On the bottom, we have another USB-C port, so you can plug this into an external monitor and charge at the same time if you want. Now, let's see how easy it is to get the controllers off. Okay, we've got a little button back here. I've seen some people kind of do this, and let's see, did this thing have any instructions? <laughs> There's like no instructions as far as like the direction of the uh, popping off the controllers or not. I'll make sure I'm missing anything. I don't think it's going to break, but because I'm, you know, recording this. Okay, there we go. Actually, that wasn't so bad. I was, I was pushing it in the wrong direction. So now we've got almost like a little tablet, a little PC tablet. Put that there and slide that over there. And now I've got two controllers in my hands, which uh, I believe is Bluetooth. And then I can play games. I can sit and play games on my t table if I want to independently. I can connect one and just have one free if I want. These controllers are light. They're, they're light, they feel beefy. They feel nice in my hand. I have not had handheld controls like this since I had the first, uh, the original Nintendo Switch. Uh, I was playing Zelda for many hours. These thumbsticks feel nice. Okay, let's move on to uh, bonus stuff here. So this has uh, something called FPS mode, which is a button back here. You can turn on and then you can use this little sensor there. You can turn that on I'm, I'm turning it on just for demoing here. And you can um, magnetically connect to this hockey puck there. See, that stays in place. It's got a little, little material. It'd be nice if there was felt or something on here and so not scratch up your table. But you spin it around, and now you can use this as a vertical mouse. So if you're playing first-person shooter games, cyberpunk, and uh, also this... This um, thumbstick knob easily just snaps off and you can put that inside of the carrying case. Lenovo really, really did a nice job with this. You can pop that knob right in there. Nails in the case that I'm missing. It's like a little felt, felt inside. So uh, here you go, you wanna play uh, Fortnite or something? You can, uh, well, that, yeah, when you take that knob off, you really can get in there. So you can use the buttons here. You can use your thumb to scroll when you're playing first person game. Okay, so I powered up the Lenovo Legion Go. I had to plug in the wire, put the controllers back together. I had to log into Windows. I just went through the little Lenovo Legion Space tutorial. And here we are, we have the unit on. Display looks nice. I can use the trackpad here, I think, to scroll through things. Let's see, there we go. Maybe not the trackpad on here. Uh, so this is Legion Space. 
which is uh, some of their games. You can buy games directly from here, and there's games that have a discount. Okay, let me jump into some of the menus here to see what we can see. Quick settings, brightness, volume. Bluetooth is on, Wi-Fi, resolution settings, refresh, lighting effects. That might be for, uh, yes, yeah, the lighting effects for, or I can turn them off. I'll leave it on for now. Refresh rate, 60 to 144. What else we got in here? Performance. I can hear the fan going in the background, it's low. I think there is a way to uh, make the fan, Let's see I'm on performance fan speed, I can change that. Woo! I don't know if you can hear that. I click the fan on high and I can really, I can really feel it, hear the fan now. I can feel the, <laughs> the air. Uh, it's gonna be difficult playing with the fan on that high. Let me turn it back down still going high it might take a second to uh, reset and then we got user manual I might have to use that uh, let's see what else we got over here on this side the uh, getting getting the hang of the menuing system is going to take a little bit so you can Go up to Windows or Games Played, Home. I'm not sure what some of these settings are here. General settings, performance, or preferences, performance. Fan speed went back down. Display, controllers. So you can do, uh, you can set up external controllers as well. Uh, vibration. I'm going to turn off vibration. I'm not a big fan of vibration at all. So uh, that's it. Just kind of, um, you know, a quick look at the Lenovo Legion Go. I uh, am going to mess around with this and um, uh, play, I'm thinking I'm going to play some games for free that I'm going to download and mess around with it this week to make sure I like it and I want to keep it. But uh, overall, I like the size, I like the, the weight, the feel. Let me know what your comments are, what kind of things you'd like me to check out on the Lenovo Legion Go. If you're uh, new to my channel, I usually have been putting up a lot of Kung Fu martial arts movie reviews, but I am a gamer, so I got this in my hands and I wanted to check it out and do an unboxing video for you. So thanks a bunch for watching for CoinOpTV. We'll see you next time.